Have you ever walked in a house and thought to yourself, I love it! Only to find out that it was a complete disaster waiting to happen? Oh my God. Today, I'm gonna reveal the five types of homes that you should absolutely avoid buying. Run! Get out! Hey there, my name is Chris Cusimano. I'm your go-to real estate agent in Southeast Florida. I have been doing real estate for decades in Palm Beach and Broward counties, and I have seen it all. I'm sharing the top red flags to look for when buying a home. The first type of home that you should avoid are wood frame homes. Now I can understand why they could be appealing because they're usually less expensive than CBS construction homes. However, the maintenance cost over the long term of the life of the property could be more expensive. These homes often have higher insurance premiums, are more prone to termites, wind damage, and wood rot, which means you're likely going to pay longer in the long term than you think you're saving in the short term. Wait. What? And you might be asking yourself, so how do I find out if a home is wood framed or not? Well, the first thing you can do is just check the internet. A lot of county websites, including Palm Beach counties, have codes next to where it says building exterior, just like you see here. In this case here, you'll see MSY, which stands for masonry, which of course isn't wood. Now, if you see WSF, that is wood. Oh, and the stucco part that you see next to WSF, that just tells you what's on the exterior of the wood. So this is a wood frame home with a stucco finish. Oh, by the way, I have all these codes in the description of this video for your convenience. Thank God. Now, what if you're out and about looking at homes and you just don't have access to the internet? Well, there are some easy ways that you could spot if a house is wood framed or not. A typical CBS construction house, they build the windows in the middle of the block. So you'll have an indent of an inch or two, like where your windowsill is. Now, if the window is flush to the exterior, then you know it's likely a wood frame home. Now, here's a side note to look for. If you're looking at a two-story home, there are some that were built with the bottom floor CBS construction and the top wood frame. Now, if you're still considering and likely to buy a wood frame home just make sure you do thorough inspections and make sure that your insurance rep knows that you plan on doing this so you can get an accurate picture of what your insurance premiums are going to be number two are homes that fit just within your current budget he's the tax man Kevin, the tax man. And the reason why is because of taxes. Typically when you buy a home, you're gonna inherit the taxes of the previous or current homeowner. No, please, 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 no. And if those homeowners have been in that house for a long time and their taxes have been capped year over year, then when the property gets reassessed with the new homeowner, you, in November, then your payment's going to go up if you are escrowing your taxes like most people do. If you don't know what escrowing taxes means, it means when you're rolling your tax bill into your monthly payments so you don't have one big tax bill at the end of the year. Now this is a huge issue that bites a lot of homeowners in the butt. They buy their house based on the numbers they see there, not realizing when their taxes assess, they're gonna have to pay a lot more. We're in trouble, I'm in trouble. What many homeowners do, they get a rough estimate of what the payment's gonna be from their lender at the current time. Time. And many times that lender doesn't tell them what their payment is going to be. So now they're going to buy a house expecting one payment and a few months later, bam, they're hitting the head with a huge increase in their payment. Here's a real story. When I bought my house, my payment was at a certain dollar amount. And then when my taxes reassessed, guess what? My payment jumped up a whopping $1,100 more a month. The thing is, I understand that this was going to happen because I've been in the business for a long time. However, many people aren't familiar with this tax increase and it could put them in the poor house. So here's a pro tip. When you're buying a house, make sure you're working with a real estate agent and a mortgage broker that are aware of this situation and also care enough about you to tell you about it. Number three, homes flipped with an LLC or other corporation or investor. Now these homes can look fantastic on the surface, but the renovations are often done quickly and cheaply just for profit. This is actually the situation that motivated me to create this whole video. I received a call from someone who found me online who just bought a house that was just flipped by an investor. And unfortunately, this person didn't use me to buy the house, but they wanted my advice on something. They wanted know if they had any recourse because after they moved in they just saw a bunch of shoddy work that was very costly to do right the second time through and they wanted to know if there's anything they could do to recoup their money and unfortunately for him he didn't he had his inspection period to make that decision then and he was well past that so here's my advice for you if you're gonna buy a flipped home you can there are some that do it very well just make sure you bring in someone who's very handy who knows about renovating homes that can give you a second opinion about what you're about to purchase. Number four are homes with over the top 
custom features. These features may seem very cool. However, it could hike up your price and it could make it harder to resell to future buyers who might not find them as appealing as you do. Here's a real recent story of mine. I had a client who bought a house with a movie theater. And this movie theater is really cool, except when you're looking at all the homes around it, none of them had a movie theater. Something's missing. Something's missing, all right. So when he called me to sell the house, by the way, I didn't represent him on the purchase, but when he called me to sell the house, he wanted to increase the price of the house to accommodate the value that he perceived the movie theater to have. And I told him then, and it worked out to be in what I said, that it doesn't work that way. But why? Because home buyers who are searching that area are not looking for a movie theater. They're looking for a house that fits the common features of that area. As a matter of fact, many people are turned off by this because they're wondering how expensive it's going to be to turn it back into usable space for them. Now, here's a pro tip. If you find a house with a cool feature like a movie theater or a bowling alley or a bulletproof escape room, just make sure that that feature is not unique to the area and that it's practical where a buyer in the future will also like it. Number five are homes with polybutylene plumbing. Polly. Man, every time I get a listing that have poly pipes, my heart flutters in not a good way. The reason being it's really hard to find a buyer with poly pipes. Before I explain why, let me tell you what polybutylene pipes are. Please do. These were pipes that were widely used from the 1970s to the mid 1990s instead of copper. They used them because they were more affordable and they're easier to install. However, they were prone to failure. Sometimes these pipes will get brittle and they'll burst causing massive amounts of water water damage to property. The good news is that they were discontinued in the mid 90s. So if you see a house built for the mid 90s on, chances are that you don't have poly pipes to worry about, but you still should double check. Now, if you're a homeowner trying to sell a house with poly pipes, you have to understand it's gonna be really hard to find a buyer. Why? Because insurance companies typically won't insure a property with poly pipes, especially if the home is more than 20 years old. And since they can't get insurance, the buyer's mortgage company is going to deny the loan. Denied. And since they denied a loan, they can't close, which leaves you with cash buyers. And we all know that cash buyers usually lowball you. So you're drastically reducing the buying pool of your property. Now, what you want to do to make sure that the house that you're considering buying doesn't have poly pipes is first just tell your inspector, of course. But you also make sure you look for yourself too. Now, the good way you can look for yourself is you can check under the sinks or behind the washing machine. And you can see that the pipe that comes in from the wall that connects to your appliance or, or connecting plumbing plumbing to your sink, if that doesn't look like metal or copper and it feels like a plastic piece, oftentimes it's a bluish color, then you likely have poly pipes. It'd be a shame if you or your inspector missed this, you bought a house and later on you found out that it was there, making it really hard to resale or even worse, a pipe burst and ruins all of your stuff. In conclusion, these are my five types of homes to avoid buying when you're out home shopping. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button and tapping that notification bell to see more just like it. And if you want to buy or sell a home in the Broward or Palm Beach County areas of Southeast Florida, give myself and the Homes by Koozie team a call because we can help.